What is happening, Adventure Nation? We are leaving the Savannah, Georgia area and the Skidaway State Park. Today is a travel day, and this is the Motorhome Experiment. Skidaway State Park is extremely handy to Savannah, Georgia. Only about, what, 15 minutes, maybe 20 yeah. minutes away? It's, and it's a very cool park. So you're kind of like in the city, but not really in the city. You're right. in a very nice area, very high end area. Yeah, we found out that right close to the park is some extremely high end homes called The Landings. Very cool, and we found out there's some, a Publix close by, which is a mile away, and Wells Fargo Banks and things like that as well. So we thought we were way out in the middle of nowhere, but we're actually very close to some great stuff. Each campsite in this is like a little mini loop. Now, if you see here, we could have driven in up here a little ways and driven into this loop, but we actually backed in because we, it was a little bit tight up here. But, but for the most part, all the other sites, or most of them, not all of them, are kind of like drive through So almost all of them pull through, right? Yeah, and we'll show you that as we're driving out. <clears throat> we're gonna hit the dump station quick. As normal with state parks, you're gonna spend time here, you're gonna do your dump station on the way out. But now, this one has also full hookups, but oh, it's right. just uh, the pull-through, like the actual pull-through sites. Those are the full... Yeah, what I will say about Skidaway is it's one of the very few state parks that can easily accommodate any size rig. Like, they can accommodate yes. a 60-foot rig with a, with tow vehicles and trailers and boats and all kinds we of stuff because they have two, several pull-in spots. Yeah, we saw like two 40-something footers, like Class A, so big, big boys, and they were right here. Yeah, so very rare for a state park, but they can here at Skidaway. So if you're coming to Savannah and you've got a big rig, no problem at this particular state park. <clears throat> the site, let's take you around back here. Very cool, so once you're set up, you're actually isolated from the road. Your rig's on this side, you can set up. We had our little uh, mat set up here. You've got your spot for your picnic table and stuff. So very, very cool. And we don't know if there just wasn't a lot of bugs here or we have a bug spray that we're now spraying out. And we'll talk about that in a, in a little while in another video, uh, like a all natural bug spray that we can spray out. But it didn't seem to be too bad here at all at Skidaway. Lori sat out last night for a little first bit. Night, the first night. The first night, and then, like I said, maybe it the seems spray to be work. always the setup night. I guess you stir up all the bugs in the mosquitoes yeah. away. Seems to be that night we got bitten that first day, but then after that, everything seemed to be fine. Yeah, so we are now going to head on up the road to Charleston, which is supposed to be another amazing city, but we're going to roll the cameras just in case we find some cool stuff along the way. So mm -hmm. let's, let's do it. it. guys put in our rig here. You can see how these sites here, you can drive in, pull in a big semi-circle, which is cool. Here are the big drive-through sites that we're talking about. See there? All right here. So yeah, they can definitely accommodate any size rig here. And these are all 50 amp, so no problem with power as well. Pretty nice level giant spots for you big boys.
We are arriving at James Island County Park, just outside of Charleston, South Carolina. Looks like we missed, just missed reggae night. <laughs> That's too bad, that would have been cool actually. I like reggae. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous drive in here. The trees coming over the road, pretty narrow. All the way in here is pretty narrow. The, the roadways and there's trucks blasting past you. But, eh, wasn't too bad. We are gonna spend a couple of nights here at James Island County Park, and then a couple of nights at the Charleston Visitor Center Parking Garage. So, oh geez, that's really tight there. I'm assuming- We wanted to stay here longer, but they only have two nights available. I mean, that yeah. was it. <laughs> How you doing, boss? It's raining a little bit. You brought this with you. Yeah. Do you have a reservation? Yes, sir. Have you been here before? No, sir. These state parks and county parks, folks, you cannot write these things off. Some of them are going to be absolute junk. And some of them are gonna be really nice. Like That's this so far looks really cool. It's, it is hit and miss. So hopefully we're gonna find that out for you guys. And then you won't have to worry about the misses, only the hits. Campsite registration. That's us. That is us. I didn't realize this county park was this big. Like they have propane right there. Uh -huh. Our initial reaction to this park or response or whatever you want to call it, absolutely immaculate. The store inside was perfect. Everything here looks extremely well groomed. So very cool so far. Actually, for a county park, quite surprising. It's really nice. We are all checked in here at the James Island County Park campground. Getting ready to use some food. Lori's preparing, but I gotta show you guys this. You can probably already hear it. The rain is coming down like crazy. The thunder is just kicking and Ozzy's getting freaked the heck out. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Every time there's a big boomer, his ears like flatten out and he gets all crazy, weird looking. It's awesome. Thought we'd give you guys a quick tour of the James Island campground that we arrived in today just outside of Charleston, South Carolina. I don't know what that is in the tree, but I know it's gonna try and kill me. These here are huge, huge pull-through sites on the right side here. So they can accommodate any size rig here in this county park, which again is kind of different for a county park. And then over on the left here, is some back ends. And they're huge as well, some of them. So they can catch the biggest of the big. There's a big class A there. Big Integra in a county park, which is cool. This here says wrong way, do not enter. So we're gonna go this way. <laughs> we're on bicycles, so. I'll tell you what, this park is really nice. 
your uh, one of the restrooms there looks brand new I wonder how old this park is we were told by the people at the front desk that if we wanted to stay one extra day that we could stay in the overflow we just passed a sign that said this is the overflow area so we're coming out to check it out obviously it's wild camping so no hookups Wow so they have a huge overflow area here where you can come and park but for the price of their overflow would they say it was 30 bucks 37 dollars to park over here nah we'll go downtown Charleston and park in the uh, parking garage down there check that out but very very big overflow parking here group camping and tenting over there they've got tenting group area tenting over there quite the park here James Island County Park oh and this is the entrance because that's the outdoor zone there where they have uh, the rock wall so in there it says zip lining team building disc golf there's a slack line and climbing it's been raining here most of the afternoon since we got here and everything is nice and green and lush and night is falling on our little campground here I know this is a bit of a short one, but this is where we're gonna end it. We appreciate you guys watching as always. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, stay up to date on all of our travels. It would be equally as cool if you liked the video. We'll see you again in the next one. Take care now.